my friends. They're a little kooky, but they mean well. They have the whole world at their disposal. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is real. Bling Empire has a little of everything for everyone. Uh, it's got the glitz, it's got the glamour, but it's got real people with real struggles and real friendships real relationships, romance. The show follows a very wealthy Asian friend group in Los Angeles as they live their lavish lives. We have all known each other for many, many years and I think the show has a, you know, has a lot of love in it. And while the show may have a lot of love, there's also a lot of drama. And I'm still going through the process where I'm learning who I can and cannot trust. A lot of this stuff, it's not over-exaggerated. Like, I can't believe the parties that they throw. To do it big, of course, you have to take over Rodeo. And if the show's glamour and drama hasn't already sold you, there's also a lot of emotional moments as well. Christine opens up about her 11-year-long struggle with infertility before finally having her son. Baby G is our miracle child. Seeing his face, that can literally like light up my world. It was a very long decision for me to come to terms with opening up with my struggles. Even if it helps one mom, one dad, one parent in their fertility struggle, um, I would be very pleased. One of the reasons I love this show so much is it's also a look into the Asian culture. There's not that much stuff on TV right now that represents the Asian culture and show us what, you know, what Asian culture is like.